Hey everybody, what's going on? Dustin here with another NASCAR Diecast review. Um, welcome to my new studio. This is my new desk. Finally, I'm able to come back in here for a change. I am now forever back in my bedroom once again. Thank goodness. I don't know how long I was out, but it is forever great. Great to be back in here, where I, where I previously used to be. So, today for this review, for the first time ever, we are in my new studio. And today we're taking a look at our second next-gen test car. This is the number 9 Hendrick Motorsports Chevy Camaro. It is the same as the number 5, I think they're... Except just for the number, but we're still going to look at it either way. <laughs> so, without a further ado, let's go ahead and get to this review. Oh, wait, first of all, um, here's a little sticker up here. Number 9, Hendrick Motorsports Test Car, 2022 Camaro ZL1. Only one of 564 of these are made. And it is a standard finish. The uh, color chrome has been out. Has been uh, dropping lately. And love to pick one of those up. Uh, I know those special finishes are uh, very expensive. But and speaking of special finishes. I actually do have a, a special finish. Of a race win. For the first time ever. So we'll look at that next. Anyway. Let's get to this review of the uh. I'm going to get the car right out of the packaging. And I'm back. Now this number nine, now this number nine takes test car. I believe it was driven by Chase Elliott. During a chase. Oops, sorry about that. That was not supposed to happen. Anyway, let me try that again. <laughs> anyway. We got the number 9 test car. I believe this was driven by Chase Elliott. Correct me if I am wrong. Now this is now. We all know this is the same as the number 5. You know we, we get the white base. The uh, the Chevy bow tie on the side. The number uh, move forward. And the car actually rolls pretty good though. Uh, back we have the Hendrick Motorsports, the Camaro, the uh, tail light decals. Now this would actually be a pretty good donor car to uh, anybody that would like to, uh, you know, customize their own favorite uh, tie cast car whatsoever. So here's the other side. Now what they actually did, they actually did testing with these cars in the preseason back in, uh, I would say, late December to January. You know, testing how this car would behave on tracks such as, you know, with Atlanta Motor Speedway for the recent repave. Uh, hold on a minute. Sorry for that little bit of interruption. Uh, I had to let my little rip. rip. I know uh, I'm going to get a lot of comments down below saying why I stop. Uh, unfortunately, I had to let one rip, so. I know there's going to be a lot of immature comments down below, so I'm going to expect that. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look at the front. Here's the front. Now, this is, now just like I said, it's the same as what we uh, saw a couple weeks ago. I believe the uh, the new next-gen cars are already uh, being produced. They are uh, already being uh, already sent in and, and already distributed out. We, have to, we do have the Hendrick Motorsports up on the hood. We have the uh, big Chevy bow tie right on the uh, front bumper. We see those uh, cow vents right there. Also the hood flaps. And there's the, uh, the front. front windshield. Got the number 9 up under here. And now the roof flaps are... I want to say I don't want to say they're smaller or bigger. I think they kind of they're kind of basically the same size that we normally saw. Back windshield is where is the uh, 
different than what we saw on the uh, on the uh, previous cars. Now, what that little uh, shark fin thing is? That's actually the rear view camera. And it's actually a program. To, there's actually a uh, a rear view camera or a rear view monitor. I believe so right here. I don't know if you can actually see that black piece. There you go. It behaves like a rear view camera or like the uh, rear view mirror. That way you can see the uh, cars coming up behind you. And sometimes, yes, they still, I believe they still do use the mirrors on the uh, side right here. So correct me if I'm over on there. Now, let's take a look at the other side. Now, I think I forgot to show you what. Uh, what the little holes are for there. Now those are the little screw holes. Yeah. Let me go ahead and back the camera up some. There we go, just where I wanted to be. These two holes up here is for the uh is for the base and so is the back back two back here as well. Here's the rear diffuser. We also have more of the diffusers up here. We also have the uh, exhaust exhaust vents, which is actually uh, put forward instead of the uh, the usual spot, which is where it will be right where my fingernail is. We also have the uh, single lug nut wheels, like what we see on here. You can actually see that brake rotor too. That's pretty amazing. Here's the rear as well. And same for the other side as well. Now it's going to uh, pop open the hood and it's uh, what the engine's like. You know what? I can actually do this. And there is the engine, which is basically the same as what we saw. Excuse me for the first time. I believe it is the Xfinity engine, if I am correct. There's also two uh, vents right there. There's that carburetor. Now, I really wish they actually did take a lot of detail into the engines. Rather than being one big plastic mold. But. It is what it is. Nothing to say or do. I don't know if anybody's seen that little. Black speck up here. I think that's not supposed to be there. I'll find a way to rub it off anyway. So, test cars I normally don't collect, but these were actually a great addition to have in to my, my ever growing diecast collection. Now, do I actually like this car? A little bit. It's okay. You know, I can't say anything bad about it because it is a test car. But once we get to the ones that are, uh, you know, as the they appear on the track. That's when we'll do the uh, real reviews at. I think this one is just my. Uh, this one and the number five one are just the uh, first takes. And my thoughts and comments on the uh, next gen car. But if you do have any uh, thoughts and opinions on these cars, um, leave, leave a comment down down below. I like to uh, read some of it. However, if you do like this video, leave a like, subscribe to this channel for more NASCAR diecast reviews. I try to publish them out in the best way I can. I have been caught up in the past couple of times. However, I am a Circle B diecast affiliate. Use coupon code Kruger at checkout for $5 off shipping on all orders, $30 or more. A little bit would actually help me out. So anyway, my name is Dustin, and I will see you guys in another video real soon.